It has been a while, but welcome to a, a somewhat surprising edition of KSO Now, a piece we release here on YouTube whenever there's breaking news for K-State. This news actually came last night, meaning Sunday night, as K-State landed the commitment of junior college point guard Rudy Williams. We'll talk about that here on KSO Now. KSO Now, as always, is brought to you by both People State Bank and Legacy Insurance. I also want to take a second to mention other sponsors of us, uh, Tallgrass Tap House, Bourbon and Baker, Harry's. Um, you know, of course, we're going through a lot right now. Uh, the whole world is. Um, those places are, I believe, still open. I know at least Tallgrass Tap House is for takeout, carryout, that kind of thing. So if you're looking for something around Manhattan, uh, a little bit different than what you have at home, they're still an option. I appreciate all of our sponsors <laughs> and really everybody. I guess at a time like this, when you really think about it, um, all that stuff seems small. But I appreciate appreciate them for sure a great deal. So let's talk about Rudy Williams. K-State lands a commitment here. Grant Flanders has a what it means piece out. Derek Young has a commitment story out. We have a lot of talk on the board about what this means perhaps for K-State's roster. I'll start there briefly. I won't talk about it a lot on here, but this would put the Wildcats at their scholarship limit at the moment. They lost Cartier Jada with a transfer to Virginia Tech, and now they had a spot open. This would fill it back up at 13, but I tend to think K-State will have another spot opening up um, and continue to recruit. That's something I noted on the message board. You can check into that, though. Williams, of course, plays point guard. He's listed at 6'3", about 200 pounds. He looks like he's a pretty put-together guy. Um, my impression of him is he's not a fantastic athlete, but he's a good athlete. If you're comparing him to a David Sloan, um, he's, a, he's a bigger, better athlete than David Sloan. I don't think he's as, he's not as skilled as a basketball player as Sloan is, in my opinion. Um, but statistically, he had a really nice year. This is a junior college point guard from Northeastern Oklahoma A&M. Last year, he averaged 21 points a game, shot the ball really well. Uh, at NEO, 50.9% from the field, 36.4% from three, and 80.7% from the free throw line. Those were all on high usage numbers, too. So junior college basketball, of course, is entirely different than Big 12 basketball. I'm not telling you to expect those kind of shooting numbers, but it's good to see a guy who shot 81% from the foul line on about six attempts a game. So this is a good shooter by nature. Somebody who in his highlight package shows a good amount of range. Again, playing against not great competition. So we'll hit, see how this all translates. But K-State is getting a player who has some size at point guard. Again, at 6'3". Um, he's a good athlete. I think he'll be a, a pretty good defender for K-State. Somebody they think is going to have some length, be able to do some things on defense um, that maybe they were missing at times last year at point guard. Uh, a very good distributor, at least at the junior college level. 8.9 assists per game. One of the top assist men throughout the entire season. Kind of floated back between the top couple of spots in junior college basketball. And a, a willing rebounder, too. Again, at the junior college level, but 6.7 rebounds a game for Rudy Williams, who is committed, of course, to Kansas State. That's what we're talking about here on KSO now. Williams, if you count Casey Iziagu, the mid-year transfer, gives K-State seven new additions in this cycle. Of course, along with Casey Iziagu, Davion Bradford, Luke Kazuki, Nigel Pack, Selton Miguel, and Siri Lewis. And I don't think K-State's done. I've talked some on the board about Donovan Williams. I think he's still in play for K-State. Anderson Garcia certainly still in play for K-State, and maybe some players beyond that. So, like I said, the Wildcats are at their scholarship number right now, but I believe that will change, and they'll continue to add to this class, which includes Rudy Williams now. Like I said, check out the site for Derek Young's story on this, for Grant Flanders, what it means, for all the reaction on the message boards. We have quite a bit there on Rudy Williams. Really appreciate you taking the time to listen to this video. I really hope you're doing well at this time. If you get a chance to subscribe to our channel, we'd certainly take it. If not, like I said earlier, there's more important stuff right now, and I just hope this was entertaining. Rudy Williams has committed to Kansas State. This was KSO Now. Appreciate your time. Thank you for listening.